I got no idea what they're saying. Hi. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Today what I'd like to teach you is I'd like to teach you a little something about unit conversions. So, we have two basic types of unit conversions. There's a metric to metric unit conversion. And there's also a metric to non-metric unit conversion. And by the way, you can go backwards. As you can see the double arrow there, you can go from non-metric back to metric, of course. There really is technically a third one as well where you can go non-metric to non-metric. Uh, however, though, we would treat that one in the exact same way as we're going to treat the metric to non-metric. All right? So why don't we begin uh, our discussion with the metric to metric conversions? So why don't we suppose we have 2.5 meters and we have to convert that into kilometers. So how do we do this? Well, I like to think about it in terms of a five-step process. So step number one is going to be to write down the given value. Now in this problem, the given value was 2.5 meters. So we just write it down. The second step is going to be to write down your conversion fraction. Now all that is, it's just a parenthesis with, well, two parentheses, right? With a division sign, and that's it and you're going to multiply that by your given uh, value. Step number three then is what we're going to do is we like to work with the units first. So what we want to do is we want to place the units we want to cancel on the bottom and the units we want to convert to on the top. So in this case, we want to cancel the unit of meters, right? Because we don't want our answer in meters. We want to convert from meters, right? So we want those units to cancel and the unit we want to find is going to be kilometer. So that goes on the top and that's it. Now step number four, what we need to know here in order to do metric to metric conversions is we need a metric table. So let me show it to you here. Feel free to pause the video and copy down some of the uh, values. Cool. So now what I'd like to do is, again, step four. What we need to do now is we need to take the values of the meter and the kilometer, okay? What we do with those values from the metric table is we take then the value we see. So for example, meter has a value of one. So we're going to take that value, plug it in with the meter into our conversion fraction. And then we're going to take the value that we see for kilometer here, which is 10 to the third. And we're going to take that and plug it on in where the kilometer is in our conversion fraction. Now that's it. The fifth step here is really the most important. The fifth step says to flip any signs of the exponents. So now if you have an exponent here in the conversion fraction, you're going to flip the sign, meaning if it's positive, it becomes negative. If it's negative, it would become positive. If there is no exponent, like we have here for meters, right, where it's just a one, just leave it alone. You don't have to do anything. So now what I'm going to do is flip the sign here of the kilometer. So instead of it being 10 to the positive three, it now becomes 10 to the negative three. And now, I'm ready to calculate. So now all we have to do is multiply this across, right? So it's really 2.5 multiplied then by 10 to the minus three. Notice the meters cancel and we're left with that unit of kilometer. And what is our answer? Well, there it is. You can leave it in terms of scientific notation, right? 2.5 times 10 to the minus three kilometers, or you can convert it into a decimal, right? Which would be 0.00. .00 Two five. Finished. Now, let's talk about metric to non-metric conversions. All right, remember, you can go backwards as well from non-metric to metric. So, uh, I don't know. Why don't we choose a value of, let's say we have to convert, uh, I don't know, 424 inches uh, into centimeters. Now, we know at the start of this conversion that we are dealing with two different systems. Right? The centimeter is a metric value and the inch is a non-metric value. So as soon as you know and recognize that this conversion involves a metric to non-metric or a non-metric to metric conversion, what you're going to do is you're going to follow these four steps now. Okay? So step number one is the same as we saw before, where we're just going to write down the given value. So in this problem we're given 424 inches. So we just write it down. The second step is also the same. So what we're going to do is just write our conversion fraction. Remember, two parentheses, a division line, and we're going to take that and we're going to multiply it then by the given value. The third step here is also the same, so it's great, right? The third step here is going to be to place in the units you want to cancel 
on the bottom. So we want the inches to cancel, so the inches go on the bottom. And the unit we want to convert to, which in this problem is going to be the centimeters, they go on the top. Fairly straightforward. Now step number four is also the same, right? Here we're going to take now the values or the relationship between the inches and centimeters, meaning we have to know the relationship between the two. We have to know either how many inches there are in a centimeter or how many centimeters there are in an inch. Doesn't matter which one you know, but you gotta know one of them. So in this particular case, we know that there is going to be 2.54 centimeters in one inch. Again, we need to know that in order to do this conversion. And that, or I should say those values, go into that conversion fraction now. So the centimeter value there, right, was what? It was 2.54. So take that value and plug it in for the centimeter there on the top. And then take the one, right, that, had the, that was correlated to the inch value and put it in on the bum bum. That's what my three-year-old says, on the bum bum. Bottom, in case you didn't understand that. So now, lo and behold, we're done. We can stop at step four and we just calculate. Now there's no flipping of any signs of any sort. So it's really just one step less. So just to sum that up, metric to metric, you gotta just flip the signs. Non-metric to metric or metric to non-metric, you don't have to worry about any flipping, you just plug in the numbers. Notice they beautifully cancel the units, the inches cancel, and then we're going to multiply this on out. Okay, and we arrive at our answer. And by the way, now, be careful, okay? You always have to remember sig figs, just like we had to remember it in the prior uh, conversion as well, metric to metric, although I didn't mention it because we kept the 2.5 the same. But you have to have the appropriate number of significant figures. So if I started the problem here with 424 inches, right? That's three significant figures. That means my answer should have also three significant figures. I know I also multiplied here by a value of 2.54. That has three sig figs too, so obviously, right, uh, the, they're both the same, so the answer would have three significant figures. If you're not sure about significant figure calculation, check out our other video on that, all right? I'll leave a link. And um, was there anything else we wanted to talk about? Um, hold on. It's my memory juice. Uh, no, I guess that's it, all right? And what I'll follow this up with is we'll then work on maybe multi-step conversions, or we'll talk about what happens if we have to do multiple conversions, all right? I'll shoot that out to you in another video. And then maybe um, talk about, yeah, some maybe some rates and stuff like that. How do we, how do, we uh, do conversions with that? So thank you so much, all right, for tuning in. It was great to see you, and I'll see you soon.